Hello and welcome. Trying to get FPV on the hubs uh, from the Hubson onto my F450 quadcopter. The cheapest cheapest I could possibly do it. And this is what I've come up with so far. At the moment, with the Hubson, as we know, when we plug our quadcopter in, we have instant video. on the screen. But the range of this is not very good. Um, it's, it's it would nowhere near good enough for, for the quadcopter. So what I'm going to do instead is use the use the TS351 transmitter instead of using the Hobson quadcopter. So this will be, this is going to replace it. So how are we going to get this to work on the Hubsum? Well, there's two ways I'm going to do it, either with the keychain camera or the wing camera from Hobby King. Uh, this is absolutely a brilliant camera and it does so much. Um, I will cover all, all the functions it does, but at the moment just to show you how we can use this as an FPV um, and compare these two also got a pin and pin hole camera um, to try as well. All these are really cheap trying to get FPV on the quadcopter. So first of all always put the antenna in first before you apply any power because it will just fry this unit. So make sure this is connected first. Then the power supply, I'm just going to use a 4.7 volt, seven, sorry, 7.4 volt battery to power it. And then I made up a cable that will go into the USB of the keychain camera. So when we power this up again, make sure we've got the antenna on. The red light comes on to say it's being powered and to get any kind of visual on the screen we'll plug in the keychain camera and switch on and as you notice when it's on we've got live video feed independent as we as we have with the hubs and fpv but this is going to go a lot further. Also, we've got a clover leaf antenna um, connected, which is shown on previ the previous video. <coughs> but this one is is all well and good, but after one minute of use, it turns off. So it's okay for like I say for one minute, and then it's no good. So I thought about trying the wing camera from Hobby King. Again, I've made the lead up by cutting the cable and then I did a servo link, servo connection to plug in. And how this is going to work, I'll just turn this off. It will switch off after a minute anyway, there you go. It switched off, so that's no, no use. So to use the Hobby King, Unplug the power. Unplug the cable for the keychain camera. If I don't use a card, what you'll see is a setup screen. I'll show you how this works. The black lead goes to this side, and the video lead goes to the other. Important we get this incorrectly. And then when we turn on, you'll notice it vibrates, and then we should see the instructions on the screen. The 
the way this works with the lead pointing towards the screen if we use these buttons up and down and the end this middle button is to confirm or enter your choice so next menu if I press the center one it tells you what version it is If we want to get this as FPV, the way we have to do it, switch it off first by holding the bottom button down, it will vibrate and switch off. It goes off. When we put the memory card in, Turn on the wing camera and then go into uh, there's four modes on this there's the uh, video if I press the center one it'll, it'll play video but I'll explain I'll explain how it all works in a later video this is just to show you FPV working on the Hubsum as a ground station <clears throat> so what we want is a motion detector which is yellow and blue. So we we'll toddle through to we get yellow and blue. When we plug our cable in, you notice you'll have live feed again straight to the angle. Wide angle lens. <clears throat> Seems to be good quality. But it doesn't switch off, which is a good thing only when the card is full. So I'll be testing this one, also the keychain camera, and also the pinhole camera as well, which is the, probably the cheapest out of all of them, and see how they all compare as FPV on the Hudson Ground Station. Hope you enjoyed.